everybody, welcome back on my channel. My name is Vanessa and I make videos about music, productivity and health. If you are an instrumentalist like me, you know that your fingers, hands are the most important tool you have. And in this video, I want to cover how you can take care of your hands, how you can treat blisters and avoid blisters and how you can maintain happy hands. During the holidays, I was not practicing that much and I was practicing on a smaller harp. And although I know it better, um, I practiced a lot in the last days and I got three blisters, one pretty big on my thumb and then one on my second finger and one on my fourth finger here on the left hand and they are hurting very much. The best thing for blisters is to avoid blisters. As I said before, you have to increase your practice time constantly and not suddenly because then the skin can get used of the practice hours and the pressure and is not reacting with blisters. Then secondly, of course, you don't have to play fortissimo all the time, especially when you're increasing your practice time or um, if you are playing again after a break. And lastly, don't practice when your skin is still wet. For example, after you took a bath or took a shower or you did the dishes without gloves, um, because then the risk of getting blisters irritation is much higher than on dry skin. So when you did everything of that and you still got a blister, I'm very sorry for you, but there are ways you can treat them. Please keep in mind that I'm not a doctor and these are all my personal experiences. All I'm going to say is about blisters that are filled with water. If you have a blood blister, I can only say please wait until it's healed. The risk of infecting the blister is so much higher than um, when you have a water blister. Of course, the first thing is to do nothing and just let the skin heal. Um, but that's not every time possible, especially if you are a professional musician or you have a concert in the next days and you really, really have to practice for that. So here are my top tips how you can treat that blister. The first thing I'm normally doing is to pop the blister with a disinfected needle that the water can come out of the blister and it's not hurting so much anymore. But please um, leave the skin on there. It's just good for the protection that it's not going to infect with bacteria and so on. So you just pop the blister, put the water out and leave it like this. If you need to practice then, I can recommend to put on a tape over the blister and um, not a plaster because in my experience plasters don't really work. I can either recommend leucoplast or a tape like this, which is really practical. So you just have to cut off a little bit of it and then you just put it around and it's sticking from its own. Um, voila! Thing is... It's working, it's not damaging your skin, but um, the sound is of course not as your real skin. So you can hear, of course, that you have a tape there. But in my experience, tape works better than plasters. After practice, it's really important that you put away the tape that the skin can dry and heal. You can put healing ointment overnight on it or even on day if you don't use your finger that much. And one friend of mine recommended homeoplasmine, but there are different healing ointments out there. So just have to figure out what works for you and then just give it time to heal. If you have too much calluses on your fingers, it actually can reduce your sound quality and that's not what we want. So we have to remove it. I'm removing it normally with a file and like this. And it's really important that you do this um, on dry skin and not on wet skin. I know when you're removing calluses from your feet, everybody is saying that you have to do it on wet skin, but for hands, please do it on dry skin, very dry skin, not wet skin. Please use a file that um, you are using only on your fingers and not on your feet because you have different bacteria on your feet and you don't want to mix them. 
So now to hand care, especially the cuticles need a lot of attention. I used to use a nail oil on this area, but now I'm just using a regular lip balm, which is working actually really, really well. And I'm putting it on every night. Of course, you can also use hand lotion. I'm not the greatest fan of hand lotion because I don't really like this sticky, greasy, oily feeling that most hand lotions have. You have to find your own product that you like and um, you can put it on before you go to bed, just that you don't have any product left on your hand before you practice so, so that nothing of the products comes on the strings because you know that's not the best thing. If you have any recommendations or skincare tips, I'm curious to read them in the comments. I hope this video was helpful for you. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel that you don't miss any further videos. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!